Scientology have been working to infiltrate and gain control over East Grinstead Town Council, which is the local authority in the area of their UK headquarters, St. Hill Manor. They established there in 1959, and ever since they've been trying to safe point key opinion leaders and local officials so that they look the other way. This whole time Scientology have been working to try and infiltrate local government and this video is a compilation of snippets from Scientology videos that include speeches and comments from East Grinstead councillors and mayors and officials and I stuck it all together to show you just how many people on the council are in Scientology's pocket and have been for years. This is not something new, it is not just the mayor, this is a number originally officiated by East Grinstead's local mayor. Firstly, right, this video here, the narrator, he's talking here about the Christmas light switch on, and he says it's traditionally officiated by the mayor of East Grinstead. That means Scientology have an expectation that the mayor will show up to turn the Christmas lights on every year. It's not just a one off thing that they do occasionally. No, it's a tradition, according to Scientology. Therefore, it happens every year. So the relationship must be quite deep and the council must clearly support Scientology. Otherwise, they wouldn't do this every year. Traditionally officiated by East Grinstead's local mayor. So that's clip one. Clip two. This is at St. Hill. This is an event that they're holding. And you will see in a second David Miscavige meeting one of the former also mayors. Also a chance to give back to the local community. So that there is Rex Whitaker, who I believe is still on the council. He's not mayor anymore, but you can clearly see here David Miscavige taking a photo opportunity with senior officials. The council. For this weekend. Now, this is another clip. Again, this is uh, from the St. Hill Charity Gala. This is not from this year. This is the mayor back then, Rex Whitaker, accepting a check uh, from Scientology on behalf of his charity. Um, you can also see on the right hand side, third from the right, the lady with blonde hair in the black uh, dress and suit jacket, it looks like, is Margaret Belsey, who I believe is a councillor or was a councillor. And behind her, you can just about see the corner of his face, is John Belsey, another councillor who I believe is still on uh, the East Grinstead Town Council. On the left there, second from the left, you can see Rex Whitaker as mayor. So that's three council representatives on stage at an event. Now this is our number one offender when it comes to supporting Scientology. This, and I kid you not, is Dick Sweatman. Dick Sweatman is a councillor at the East Grinstead Town Council. He used to be the mayor and Dick Sweatman loves Scientology. He's not a Scientologist, but he loves going to Scientology events. And he has gone to Scientology events for a very long time and has publicly come out to support the church. He has been fighting the fight. He's the one that defends Scientology. PTS for life. That can't be his name. Data Novus. Is that his actual name? I can 100% confirm Dick Sweatman loves Scientology. Uh, so Scientology has a video here of Dick Sweatman. Let's watch it. It is extremely grateful to the church. Without your input, I think a lot of our charities wouldn't be here today. The town. This is another clip from another video again. Dick Sweatman. Council and Church Scientology, St. Hill, work very closely together. The amount of people and, you know, just looking around the hard work that's gone in by the guys to set the lighting up and set all the facilities that we have here up. And, and the people, the kids enjoying themselves. Fantastic. We really appreciate what you do for the community. It's wonderful. So Dick Sweatman there talking about how closely the council work with uh, St. Hill and Scientology. And this is Dick's wife, Janet Sweatman, who isn't on the council. But again, it shows that it's not just him, it's his family. He is fully supportive of the church. This is Janet Sweatman. Everyone says the events are excellent. Everything we put on it's so professional, top class. Now, next up, we have Christine Mainstone, who is a former mayor of East Grinstead, 
again in the same video preaching about Scientology. I believe she's a counsellor. If she's not still a counsellor, she was, but she definitely was mayor at some point. Saint Hill is very special for the things that they help with. If we're running anything in East Grinstead, you always find members of the church there helping. I think one thing to note, these councillors clearly don't understand the purpose of Scientology's support of these public events and so on, right? Scientology do not support local events and local charities because they genuinely care about the community. They don't want to actually help. They don't care about the local homeless population or the elderly or, you know, whatever issue is going on in East Grinstead at the time they genuinely don't care there is no policy about helping local causes in Scientology however there is a policy of safe pointing of trying to win over the local population and gain control over local opinion leaders and local decision makers and the local government. They want to assert control over them so that they can further their aims and spread Scientology more. They don't want to help. They just want to get a favourable public image. So when the councillors and the mayors here are talking about how Scientology are at every single event and supporting every single charity, they fail to understand it's not because they care. It's because they want you to feature in a video like this so that Scientology can say, hey, look, we've got the support of the mayor. So it makes them look good so that they get better recognition and status in the local community. People don't understand this. And this is why it's important to, to share this information. Let's rewind a sec so that we don't miss the start of the next one, which is Judy Mockford, another serial offender who works for the council still. Um, I believe she used to be a mayor and also, along with Dick Sweatman, loves to support Scientology. I was overwhelmed with the level of support that we received from St Hill the difference it made to the running of the theatre. That there was Liz Osterman here. So they're pointing at the book. She is the public relations official at St. Hill. And there's more information coming about um, her out in the coming days and this particular project with Chakamede Theatre. So keep your eyes on the channel and ScientologyBusiness.com. To the running of the theatre. We just blown away by that. So that is the clip. Uh, that I wanted to show you that really highlights the extent to which safe pointing has occurred and the extent to which Scientology have infiltrated local government. And there is lots coming out in the coming days about this. So keep your eye on my channel.